Alan back here, founder of MrOutsource.com and author of the international best-selling book called Never Work Again uh, in Sumago, enjoying some peaceful holiday time. And uh, this is a very old town from the Edo period. It used to be a uh, post stop, post office. Um, but what is really cool is that they've preserved it as it was in the Edo period. Uh, we've got a Shinto shrine here. We've got uh, nice waterfalls, nice gardens nice Japanese style on everything so if you want to learn more about how to have a freedom business so you can travel the world live the freedom lifestyle and make money at the same time then please check out um, my book called Network Again and I'm going to show you now the streets of, of uh, uh, Tsumago and also uh, the Minshuku we're staying in basically a Japanese uh, bed and breakfast and Japanese culture I just love it and this has been on my bucket list for a very long time to visit a traditional Japanese village and as you can see there's not only Westerners here there's actually very few Westerners here there's lots and lots of Japanese tourists as well this is a destination for lots of Japanese people and I'm going to show you some really beautiful architecture and design while I'm here I'm just entering Magome here you can uh, get some sake or some cold beer As you can see, there's lots of Japanese tourists here as well. It's not only foreigners in this beautiful little sleepy town. There are the steps down to our Minshuku. And uh, the name of the place is there, if you can read Japanese. So a nice smell here as well. This is the uh, entrance to our room in the Minshuku here in Tsumago. Got your little kimono set there. All very petite and beautiful sliding doors. And of course, the mountains around, the bonsai trees and everything like that. Amazing. had a beautiful tour of this museum here in Tsumago. I just love the Japanese architecture. So much. So uh, evening has come here to Tsumago and we just had a 10 course meal with some of the best Japanese food I've ever had. And now we're just walking along, looking at the, um, the beautiful lanterns lighting up this old Japanese town. And I'm walking on um, these planks, which are basically wood. But I uh, highly recommend coming here, and tomorrow we're going for a nice walk to the next postal town, which is going to be fun too. So maybe this video is mostly black, but um, it's an amazing place. So just here inside a Buddhist temple, um, about to leave uh, Tsumago, go to Magome, it's uh, about a 3-4 hour hiking trip and um, it's, uh, we had the most amazing time at the inn, I'll post that in, this, uh, in the text for this video. Had the most amazing time, we're going up to Magome is up there um, just a hiking trip and I, I've been given a bamboo walking stick and uh, also a bell to uh, scare the bears because there are bears up here so uh, we also got a bell to just scare away all the bears so I'll uh, make another video later on but uh, amazing town Sumago hope you get to go here one day so just here on the way between Smago and Magome and the path is amazing, it's really really nice. You pass by lots of houses with uh, beautiful little carp swimming outside, but lots of these waterfalls and we're still on our way to the tea house. Highly recommend this walk and get some cool walking sticks as well. So here we finally arrived at the uh, tea house between Magome and Tsumagi and uh, can't wait to have some uh, green tea 
relax a bit and continue our trip. Yeah. <laughs> So we made the walk, just came from uh, there, sampled some uh, some uh, plum liquor on the very top, which was really good actually, <laughs> nice with some plum liquor. And this is the view that meets you after you've done the walk, really beautiful and Mago Me is just up here. Looking forward to have cold uh, Ashahi beer or something else, something cold. It has to be a beer, not a beer, but a, a, something you can drink. Okay, so Earl Baker here is signing out from uh, Mago Mea to Mago, The Walk. If you want to learn more about how to live the freedom lifestyle, check out my best-selling book called Never Work Again, or you can go to worklessearnmore.tv and you can get lots of instruction videos on how to set up your online business to start living the freedom lifestyle. This podcast is brought to you by MrOutsource.com. Outsourcing to the Philippines done for you. Mr. Outsource is a recruitment company.